Sorry if it's hard to catch my vibe I need a lover to trust, tell me you're on my side Are you down for the ride? It's not easy for someone to catch my eye But I've been waiting for you for my whole damn life My whole lifetime Don't be afraid to tell me if you ain't with it I see your focus, yeah, you're so independent It's hard for me to open up, I'll admit it You got some shit to say and I'm here to listen So baby, tell me where your love lies Waste a day and spend the night Underneath the sunrise Show me where your love lies I've been so into your mystery Is it because of a history? Are you here? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're back. Let's see what this beautiful message has to say for you. I've done the meditation. I've kind of honed in on your energy. And I'm feeling very fresh and excited. There's an energy around this meditation that I've done for you of a fresh start, crisp, clean clarity, a new beginning. I do see a new diet forming, so either it's a juice diet or like a fasting or healthier food, organics, more water, certain types of water, like I just see new health and vitality. I see a recovery from an ailment or an illness or just body fatigue and overall unhealthiness. I feel like you've been in a relationship that has been going through some cycles that you kind of it's repeating itself. You start up and then something happens and then it breaks and then it starts up again. And then, you know, it's snowball, it keeps happening. And I feel like you realize that you're manifesting these cycles or you're calling them in or you're attracting them in some way. So you're no longer pointing fingers, placing blame or looking like you're a victim. I think at this point you're taking full control I think that you're empowered and you're ready to get to the drawing board and manifest a whole new life. So, hi, Emperor. Welcome back. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into what we're going to have show up for your love relationship. Holy Spirit, please guide and direct me with these Arrows of Love oracles from Mystic Moon to give the best, most honest message for my viewers about what's gonna be happening. First one out, fire in my soul, lots of inspiration. That's that fresh start, that crisp new beginning. You know, you're excited. It's refreshing to take control. And you're inspired to manifest. You're inspired to grow and call in what would make you happy. There's gonna be some casual dating coming up coffee dates movie dates maybe just meeting for an hour or two nothing big nothing super serious right now i think you're just manifesting um putting yourself out there because i feel like you've been held back yeah there's definitely parts of you that didn't really want to put yourself out there but now that's all changing farewell to the old you farewell to the i don't date i don't go out i'm upset i'm hurt i'm grieving that you is over all right so meet the new you messenger shows up tweet tweet so i think you're going to be getting some text messaging from this person okay lots of replies back and forth happy mail good mail good news good friendly upbeat positive messaging i don't see anything negative coming in bottom of the deck here is perfect match 
I think both of you might have a thing for sushi, perhaps, or Asian food, or they're, you know, it's just a soulmate vibe, really. Um, it's two of you coming together that are so alike. You guys have a lot in common. And it's so weird because there's a lot of synchronicities that bring you guys together with this perfect match, like showing up in the same place at the same time, dreaming about one another, um, having similar families, similar lifestyles, similar points of view, similar politics. Not saying that you're exact because there's going to be differences of views, but there's a lot of similarities that make you guys kind of equally yoked and you get along really well at some point in this relationship. There's going to be something that's going to be like, this is the one. Okay. So this is the one. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to use the Black Cat Tarot and see what they want to say about all of this. Holy Spirit, please guide and direct me with the Black Cat Tarot. What do you see coming in for the collective group? What do you see coming in for that specific person that is watching right now? Found this video by chance or it just popped up at the right time. What does that person need to know? First one is night, no page. I don't know if it's a page or a night. Page of pentacles in reverse. I'm sticking to that. <clears throat> Okay, let's keep going. The next one is the strength card. No, it's not. I don't know what's wrong with me. Excuse me. <laughs> Seven of wands. It looks like strength though, doesn't it? <sighs> Seven of wands in the reverse. Followed by the full card in the upright. I am digging that. I like that that's upright. Followed by the justice card. And another seven, this time seven of swords, followed by the king of swords. My word. Okay, bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune. Things are definitely changing and moving forward in a good way. Positive. All right, so what do I see going on with you in the moment in the tarot world? Well, there's an offer that is, in a good way, no longer defensive. Somebody had an offer, but it was kind of defensive. It was like, I'll do this for you, but, you know, there's an ultimatum. Or I'll only do this if, or I'm only doing this because, you know, it's it's a very defensive offer. It's not a real true gift. And I see you turning your tail to that offer. Just like, huh, hmm, no, I don't think so. I am not into that offer. I don't think so. I am worth more than that offer. Sorry, but yeah, that's not for me. Okay. This person was not offering you money substantially, was not offering you a lot of their time, was not offering you commitment. And this person was just throwing you, I hate to say it, but crumbs. And it's not good enough. And this person believed that you didn't have any boundaries. You would just take it. You would just be this little person that says nothing, does nothing, no complaints, fine, I'll take whatever you have to offer. But remember, I felt this crisp, fresh start inside of you. Farewell to the old you. You have a fire in your soul. Aries is really coming up for you here. Just the strong leadership quality. The fool. And it's like, eh, I'm excited to see what else happens. I'm not very interested in mediocre offers or, you know, anything like that. So I'm going to go off and just see what's going on out here um, in my world, in my manifestation. And I don't know what it holds for me. I'm not sure what's out there, but I'm putting myself out there. And this is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, okay? And that's beautiful. And then we have this Libra energy. Notice the one seven, Aries, Libra, first house, seventh house. That beautiful soulmate vibe too coming in. And it's just like, huh, and you know what? 
The nodes are there, so that makes a lot of sense. The nodes are in Aries and Libra. So the, the North Node of the Moon, the South Node, Rahu Ketu, and there's a push-pull, um, and there's karma, and there's shifting, and there's gains. Gains and losses. But, you know, it depends on where you are in your natal chart to see those at those energies at work. So anyways, with justice coming in, um, you're moving into fairness and equality. You have found balance in your life. You found truth. You found, like I said earlier, crisp clarity. And whatever this person wants to do to you does not apply anymore in your life. Um, so you're stepping over, you're stepping off into a very healthy lifestyle. I also want to say, I don't know if you've been seeing a counselor or you've been working on self-help, but your mind, your mental place is very balanced. It's really good. It's the hormones are perhaps balanced. Um, maybe it's this new diet thing you're on or something, but you've got crisp clarity and you're very alert. I really like that about you. You're just very crisp, um, straightforward, sharp person. You're really good at making deals. Maybe you work in sales. Maybe you're studying um, how to create a better audience for you. Maybe you're looking in how to create more wealth for you. But I feel like there's some kind of intelligence um, upgrade that you're getting with Rahu in Aries. I definitely feel like you're being more confident and being a more assertive person in whatever career field you're choosing, but also sharpening your skills at just being a, an avid reader, writer, and creator because the fire energy is very creative and you have fire and inspiration in your soul. So I do think that you're stepping out into this creative art field, whatever that may be, you know, media, writing, um, acting, selling things, whatever. You're just being very creative about it. So, you know, kudos to you. In the relationship sector where Ketu is in the seventh house, Ari, um, Libra, there is this, I will cut off relationships that are not, you know, going along with my new life. If somebody wants to hold me back, then that's the end of it. I'm not interested. Um, so there's no problem and no hesitation with cutting people out. I don't think there's any guilt. I don't think there's any sadness, nothing. I think it's just direct, clean, crisp, I'll cut you out. So you are definitely giving vibes to this person like they really don't care. <laughs> They're really into themselves. They're really not that into me anymore. Um, this person's really not going to put up with my mediocre offer. Like, wow, this is shocking because maybe a year ago or months ago, you would have taken whatever little offer they give you, whatever little crumb, and you're just not that person anymore. So shocker. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going into the <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Now, this image is somebody getting away, but he looks sad. His ears are down. Whenever I see a cat with their ears down, they're worried, concerned. They have anxiety. They might even be scared. So the ears down show me intuitively this person's not confidently leaving. He's crossing a bridge, and the bridge isn't even complete. He's got to jump to get to the other end. Um, behind him was, I believe, the Nine of Swords or the Eight of Swords, but it's being caught in a cave, not being able to leave. And now this person is breaking free from these thoughts, these ideas, these caged energies, um, and leaving with whatever he's got to get out of there, um, sadly, and even maybe a little fearfully. I do feel like that's your person. I think your person is leaving in a nervous way, their old paradigm, their old ideas of you, their old actions towards you. Yeah, their old everything with you. Like they have to leave that behind and it's scary and it's kind of nerve wracking, but they're gonna go off into the distance now and just take what they can. <laughs> Uh, secretly and heading towards you this person isn't going to tell you that you've changed them but that's really what's 
happened here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck over there. You have changed this person's point of view about you and your guys' love connection. I do feel this person is an air sign, most likely a Libra. But we can keep it open if you'd like to the air elements. But I do feel it's Libra. Okay. Anyways, moving forward. Uh, there's this nice sharpening of the tool, sharpening of the sword. King of Swords over there on the right. And he is confident and positive that he's going to make this the best sword he's ever had. And it's like, this is your moment. This is your year. This is where no one can put anything past you. You can see straight through drama, BS, lies, deception. You can see exactly where you want to go and who you want to be. So you're just sharpening your tools. So again, going back to school, educating yourself, learning, growing in a field, or just becoming a wiser person, getting counseling. But again, your mental clarity is on point. The best mental clarity you can have is happening within the next seven days. So I don't know what you're doing diet-wise. Maybe you're fasting. I hear that makes you very clear of mind. Um, maybe it's a juice diet. Maybe it's it's all carnivore diet. Whatever it is for you that's really good. It's doing wonders. It's kind of working miracles. You didn't expect this. This kind of snuck up on you. This sudden break for a new life. But it's here. Wheel of Fortune. Um, like I said also, this person did not expect you to go off and be this clear, crisp person. They didn't expect that of you, but here you are. So it's like farewell to the old, fire in the soul. Okay, let's get some more clarity on this person with you. Let's clarify this offer that he or she tried to send you. <laughs> let's see what was up with this offer. Spirit, tell me about the crumbs, the little petal, petally little offer. Divine feminine and home. Oh, divine femme watching you. This person's like, listen, I drove by your house. I've come by your house lately. I was in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's what this is. I was in the neighborhood, you know, do you want me to stop by? Do you want to meet up? So anyways, this little offer was like, I've been around your area. Can I come by? You know, do you, you know, are you busy? And you're like, I'm actually very busy. Divine Feminine. You're like, I'm cooking dinner. I'm taking care of the home, the kids. Like, I've got a lot going on. Would you like to come over for dinner? And then this person's like, well, I can't. And you're like, what games are you playing with me? You said you were in the area, you wanted to see me. Do you not want to come over? So it could be that. Or I also get this feeling that this person is looking for an invitation from you. Take that how it resonates. But this person is like waiting for you to be like, would you like to come over sometime? Because they've been watching you coming around and all of that. Mm. Okay, so why, like, what's going on with the um, Aries, Libra, Fool, and Justice? <sighs> Show me what's going on with that. You're just busy. You're like, I have a lot of legal issues. I've, well, not issues, but you have a lot of, like, technical things that you're dealing with. Um, with the home, with contracts, with all kinds of little things. So fresh perspective is coming out for you with the hummingbird, followed by, I'm sorry. Okay, and look at the talk. So you're just like, listen, I'm sorry that I can't invite you over right now. I'm juggling a lot. Hello, I'm balancing the scales. Not only am I kind of busy with life, but I'm a different person and I'm getting a fresh perspective on what I want. And you kind of already know, very astute, King of Swords, you already know that this person comes around with what I would say the same BS over so you're and just over. like, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry about my change of perspective. I'm sorry that 
I'm not there for you like I always have been, but I have a lot going on. And this person's like, look, I just, I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you weren't a priority or you weren't balanced. I'm sorry if I ever pushed you away. I, I want to be there around you and I really just want to talk to you. I want to have a talk. I want to just visit. You're like my best friend. I can talk to you about anything. I want to open up to you. Um, why? Because you're loyal. You're like their best friend. Okay? So they know how loyal of a person you are. And you're just, you know, you're not trying to hurt their feelings or push them away. You're just like, I have so many things that I'm dealing with for my life. I've got to get my life on track and balanced. I do want a relationship with you, absolutely, but that's not first on my priority list. I'm really working on getting this degree, or I'm really working on my business right now, or I'm really working on my body and my mind and my healing. It's like, this is the classic, it's not you, it's me. But this time, instead of them telling you that, it's you telling them that. And so this person's offer is just not what you're looking for. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune is the Six of Swords. So you've kind of moved on from this person. I think you've kind of gotten over this person. And it's crazy because this is bottom of the line, your perfect match. Perfect. This is the right one for your life. And look, this is the real deal. Like this is... And I'm very serious when I say it, your actual soulmate, the person that you're kind of meant for, ready to give you that ring, ready to, get to give you some commitment here. Um, and they're inviting you for love, this beautiful invitation, very Knight of Cups. I really want to give you love, but you're just like, ah. Uh, I wish I was more into it right now, but I've changed. I've changed so much. I'm over the, you know, the drama. I'm over whatever we had going on. It's not my priority anymore. And I'm six of swords in this. I'm leaving this shore and I'm going to the other shore. I'm moving on. And maybe you've moved on from this person, which is a shocking tower. This person is not ready to hear that you've left them behind or you've moved on or you're okay with not being with them this is what is this how could this be my person what happened to you and you're like a lot's happened to me i've changed my beliefs i've changed my vision i've changed my lifestyle a lot's happened to me i am not the same person you remember um ace of swords super clarity okay truth telling serum followed by the lover's card and the two of swords the decision. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Followed by the Queen of Swords. Look, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. That is just beautiful. And the fall leaves are coming towards her. The King, there's no more leaves at all. So like you're falling away. Like you're just, everything's so clean and clear. You're not decided that you don't want this person in your life at all. Like, that's not the decision. You're still holding this person's hand. And Libra is here with, this, with the scale for justice. You are both balancing this relationship. Like, it's not disappeared. The lovers is here. This is true soulmate. It's beautiful. What a loving connection. That's deep. It's just things have changed. Okay. And just because things have changed does not mean that you and your soulmate cannot be together. That's ridiculous. Let's get... Whoops. All right. Let's see what's kind of changed for you. Spirit, what's changed for this person watching you that needs this message the most? You can't heal a wound by saying it's not there. I love the rainbow ombre effect here. Um, you've been in denial. 
what's changed in you is you denied that they were treating you badly. You've denied certain things about this relationship that hurt. And you've also denied things in your past that you said don't bother you anymore when in fact they do. So this is no longer in denial. You're paying attention to your depression. You're paying attention to your mental state. You're paying attention to your financial issues, career, job, business issues. You're paying attention to the kids. This is just, I'm no longer in denial. I know what I have to do and I've got to pay attention to it. Some injuries really can't, you, you can't walk it off. But too many of us run around treating emotional, compact fractures and trauma like just a stubbed pinky toe. They're not the same thing. If you ignore the big pain, they fester and they get worse. These are some very big, painful situations that need healing. Naming them is the first step. Maybe your wound needs some professional help. And I think that's where you're at. Like I said from the beginning, I'm like, maybe you are getting counseling. Maybe you are getting professional help. Maybe you're seeking, or seeking a somatic healer, a psychic, an intuitive, a life coach. You know, but this is like, you're just not in denial. Okay, I really like that. That's very good. What's going on with your soulmate? Spirit, what's going on with the soulmate at this time? I see the butterfly on farewell. So there's like a death and a transformation. Here we go again. King of Swords. There's no denying it. And I've been getting doubles, guys, all oh, for like two weeks now. It's insane. And guess what? Seven of Wands there. We got another double. Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands and King of Swords is definitely your person's energy. Your person is defensive and resistant with you and the connection. And that's why you're not putting up with it because their offer is never, it doesn't stick. Now that makes so much more sense on why the page of Pentacles and seven of wands is both in reverse. They offer you something hoping that your boundaries are down and you're not going to resist them. And it's like a fake promise or it's BS. They're finessing you and they don't stick. And you're just like, I'm tired of all talk. I want action. Anyways, your person is seven is, or king of swords. You guys also got the queen of swords. So, I mean, you guys could be two air sign energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries showed up here too. Your person has the seven of wands resistance also with the devil. And get this, another double. You had six of swords. You got it again. Resolution. Six of swords. Your person is trying to become a better man or a better woman for you. They're resisting the devil. They're resisting temptation. They're resisting their old self. My right ear's ringing. They're becoming more balanced. They're crisp. They're refreshed. They're escaping what feels like an incarceration of the mind, an incarceration of the heart. But this person can't come to you outright this person kind of has to come to you secretly why does this person need to show up like a secret though okay why is this person showing up secretively to my person that's watching why does this person need to show up covert kind of from behind even though they know they can't get one over on my very intelligent viewer. They've replayed all your conversation and times together. I am so sorry for always holding back with you. Wow. 
So two times in this reading you've gotten, I'm sorry. They're sorry they held back with you and they're just sorry now. So it's kind of like, look what the cat dragged in. They've got their tail between their legs. I get it now. You have called them out. That's what's going on. That's why they're coming to you a little bit scared. You put them in their place. You called them out. You told them what they were doing was BS. Um, you're not afraid to speak up or speak out now. So you put them in their place. Holy moly. Holy guacamole. You stood up to your person. <laughs> High five, collective. Ah, you stood up. You told them they were playing games. You told them you don't have time for those games. He told them you just may not have time for them, period. Yeah, you're just like, I'm sorry, but I love you, soulmate, but that is some BS. They feel that you deserve way more, bottom of the deck. Um, also, they have, they've written entire messages to you, but they end up deleting it or not sending it. They're very turned on with your voice. And um, they want to hear you tell them what to do. Like they want direction. And they know that you're wise and you can give them direction. Again, they want you to invite them over. They want you to kind of tell them what to do. Maybe this person is just seeking out advice about a terrible situation 